Happy October. <laughs> October is my most favorite month currently, um, next to December. So October is going to be an amazing reading month. I already have things that I really want to read. I have posted my sort of year end TBR and it's kind of crazy. So I'm hoping this goes well to throw in chaos. I will be doing my TBR jars. I have three TBR jars. They are of varying levels. The first level is the ones that I am most interested in, then the second most interested in, and then the third one are like books that I've seen in passing that I have somewhat of an interest in, but like I've kind of forgotten about them, so I just throw them in. Also some grenades, some really big ones that eventually want to be read, but maybe not right now. Before I draw, I want to show you the three books that I would love to read if I can. The first one is Dracula. This is an epistolary novel. I absolutely love books that are told by letters. I am so excited to read this one. I cannot believe I haven't read it at all. So this is my first wish for the month. The book for sure that I will be reading is Charles Williams's The Place of the Lion. Every single October I read a Charles Williams book. His books are so dense and meaty and referential and they've got theological themes in them. They also have some horror underlying. There are people that are beyond redemption and are dragged to the depths of hell. And then there are people that are risen above and there are cult leaders and there's enigmatic leaders and just strange things with the normal world. I first read this book in 2016 and it has been a while. And I remember loving this one. This is one of, he wrote seven novels and this is one of my top three novels. This is sold as platonic ideals come to life in an English countryside, which barely scratches the surface of what this is about. But basically there are ideas that manifest themselves as an animal and they start sort of haunting this English village. There are a couple of individuals who are the only ones that see these animals and they notice stark changes when people encounter these animals. And it is such a cool exploration about how we can be swayed by forces that we cannot always comprehend. Every October I read Ray Bradbury's The Halloween Tree. It just gets me in the mood. I think this is my third year reading this one. It is so short. It is a children's book, but it is so dark and creepy and wonderful. And there is something about his writing that ultimately draws me back to this book every single year. He writes boys so well. He just encapsulates the wildness and the wonderfulness of boys. And I am so looking forward to reading this one again this year. On to the jars. Here's our first jar. I have reordered these all, so I have put my most priority ones in here. This is my dragon jar, and these are priority books. Here we go. Uh-oh, two. Try it again. Just one, just one. Yellow. Yellow is a classic or a nonfiction. This is Storm. Let me go get that one. I guess October is the month of classics. This is Storm. I think I have talked about this too many times. So this is the story of humanity with the sort of umbrella of a storm. And it's experiencing the environment of a storm. <laughs> That's the best I can describe it. Rick McDonnell, he recommended this one and I have had my eye on this one ever since. 
the month of classics. Do we read another one of these? Oh, we've got some dense ones. Okay, let's do one. Let's do one. It's purple. It's a fantasy. Oh, the crooked plow. This is like a magical realism type of a book. I think I have looked this up in previous videos. This is set in Brazil. There are, there's some ancient magic that gets discovered and it's sort of, no, I don't know. So I'm looking forward to this one. <laughs> We've got some magical realism along with our classics. Great. Okay. All right. We're only going to do one of this one. These are my second tier books. This is my Prince Charming. Um, and I am like kind of excited about these, but like they could be pushed to next year. Pink. Ooh, what is pink? Um, contemporary. Huh? Ooh, no one can know. Do I know what this is about? Nope. Um, this is a thriller. So this would actually be good because I can listen to this one on audiobook while I'm driving my daughter to school. Editing Karen, do you want to do a voiceover of what this book is about? There is a murder of parents. There are three sisters, one of which returns after 14 years to see her estranged sisters. And then a whole bunch of secrets are revealed. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Now we're gonna get wild. Here we go. This fantasy wants to be red. No! I'm not gonna read this. Um, this is the Hod King. What if I start it? If I start it, does that count? Okay, I'm going to put The Hog King down. The Hog King. This is the third book in the Tower of Babel series. I love Josiah Bancroft. I do. I read his Hexologist book at the beginning of the year. I drew this one. I think that this, uh, this is the third time I've drawn it. Okay, so I'll, I'll start The Hog King. It's a big book. It's like 600 pages. Or at least it looks like that. Okay, that's enough. I'm not going to take any more. I'm not going to take any more. I'm, I'm, I'm done. That was too too much that was too much i have um i mean it looks okay here i don't have the hog king so that's like another thick book and the crooked plow should be okay i think we are i think we're gonna be okay my name is karen i'm the book libranaut i explore all types of books apparently october is classics and come back in november to see how these all went we'll see you again soon bye <music>